Thank you. Welcome to this week's show. The Huskers were an old rival. The Oklahoma Sooners on a hot Saturday in Norman. A heck of an effort by your team. Darn near knocked off the number three team in the country. I'm proud of them. Um, disappointed that we didn't find a way to get it done, but really proud with how we fought and, and the level of play that uh, the guys reached yesterday, and, and they need to keep doing that. 50th anniversary of the game of the century, 1971. We thought we'd lead off tonight's show getting some remembrances of that game from one of our greats, Johnny the Jet Rogers. 1971, the game for number one. Unbeaten and untied Nebraska versus unbeaten and untied Oklahoma. Actually, it has been uh, 50 years, but it seems like just the other day. Here's Wiley's kick is high. It holds up there. Rogers takes the ball at the 30. He's hit and got away. Back up field with the 35 to the 40. He's to the 45. He's to the 50 to the 45. To the 40 to the 35. To the 20. To the 10. He's all the way home. Holy moly. The punt return was not the biggest play of the game. The biggest play of the game was the third down and a 10 uh, pass that uh, Terry threw me and I, I caught at the end of the fourth quarter to, to be able to keep going in order to keep Oklahoma from getting the football. But if we had to turn the ball back over to them, it possibly would have scored again and we would have been out of it. So really in the tight spots, that little 10-yard pass <laughs> was a real big deal and was probably the biggest play of the game. Cut the ball and it's a Nebraska first down and a big one. We knew it was really a big game and more people watched that game than any other game in history up to that point. We probably were the greatest team at that time, and it turned out to be the greatest team of all time. Man, woman, and child in that over the aisles. Johnny the Jet Rogers just tore loose from his shoe. Oscar Nation, Big Mac Sack is back again this season. And that was the game's Big Mac Sack. If the Oscars get a sack during the game, it's buy one, get one free Big Mac sandwiches the day after the game, only at McDonald's. Bank of the West is offering the first account designed for client action. It gives back 1% of the account's net revenue to the planet at no cost to you. Shows you the carbon impact of every debit card purchase right in the app. There's no monthly service charge with any deposit or statement, and there's no minimum balance required. So the 1% for the Planet account, only from Bank of the West. with confidence at Woodhouse and experience the difference. Start and end your car buying journey online with our streamlined sales process. Our knowledgeable sales teams will guide you to the perfect vehicle that exceeds your expectations. Visit one of our 16 locations for a test drive today or online anytime at woodhouse.com. Streamlining your car buying experience. This is Woodhouse. Because the truck of the future isn't built for a few, it's built for America. Ford F-150, drive one today. Right now, get a Ford F-150 with 0% financing for 72 months. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Welcome back to the Bank of West Huskers football show. Nebraska back in Norman, Oklahoma for the first time since 2008. How do you feel to be back in that stadium? Uh, that was one of my favorite places I ever played at uh, during my career and. Uh, the stadium's changed a little bit, but uh, it's a special place to play. All right, they get the ball to start the game, and you have several chances on this drive to get off of the field. 
We did. Um, this this being one of them, had another chance at an interception and um, thought the defense played well all day. Uh, would have been nice to finish this one. Surprised we didn't get a penalty call there uh, for a crackback block. That would have been a big play. Um, not sure he was in here, um, the quarterback on the sneak, but uh, defense fought hard and had chances to get off the field in this one and gave up seven. 14 plays, 75 yard drive, took about half a quarter off and Oklahoma grabs a 7 nothing lead. You get the ball back and you were kind of your own worst enemy early in this drive, but you ended up putting together a nice drive. Yeah, I think the noise got to us a little bit and we were working on those shifts and moves all week. Um, guys were being really disciplined and started the game off with, with two false start penalties. Can't have, have that happen. Uh, great play by Adrian and Omar to keep the drive going. You whittle it down here, you get close. Austin Allen, good to have him back on the field. Uh, Adrian was pretty pretty accurate on this drive. Yeah, I think you see kind of glimpses of what we can be when we have all these guys out there with uh, Austin and Travis and Omar and Xavier, and um, it helps us to have all those guys. Great kick by uh, by the special teams here, and, and Connor made a big one for us. 51 yarders, so that was a 14 play drive, makes it seven to three. You're back on defense. Their longest pass play of the game was a 23 yarder. You almost get a pick on this drive. JoJo goes up and nearly picks off pass. Yeah, we had a couple guys that had a chance to pick this one off, and, and he kind of forced that one, um, gave us a chance to make a play, and uh, we had about three chances for those and didn't come up with them. You get the football back, it's still a 7-3 game. We go into the second quarter now. Oklahoma, pretty good pressure on you. You changed punters this week. Will Pristop got a chance to punt for you. We're going to see a 52-yarder off his leg here coming up. Yeah, a little bit of a injury issue, and uh, both guys have been punting well, so Will got his opportunity today. Thought he hit a couple good ones. Yeah, this is a big boomer for 52 yards. Forces Oklahoma's good punt returner, Marvin Mims, to fair catch it. So now Oklahoma gets the football back, but still unable to get much done. They do get into your territory, and then they end up on this drive missing a long field goal try. Yeah, yeah these, these guys, guys are tough, tough to stop. stop. You know, they, they got great players, and, and they run – uh, schemes that make you defend the whole field with counters and RPOs coming off it. And, um, and I thought our defense did a great job being disciplined all day. Um, other people missed field goals too. So that's a 54-yard miss. That's a great catch coming up here from Levi Falk. And we haven't called his name a bunch this year, but he made a heck of a grab on this one. Yeah, he, he's always reliable for us and can go in and, and play three different positions. Great job buying time by Adrian getting into Levi. This drive stalls. You try a 50-yard field goal, but hits the upright. Connor nearly gets his second straight 50-yarder game. Yeah, this was close. So really what hurt us on this drive is we had a second and one on this drive and lost four yards on a simple run play. Uh, got beat up front at one position, um, and that pushed us back into a third and longer and um, should have come up with the points on that drive. So Oklahoma's moving it here. They get a, a personal foul here on this on this play, and so then you ended up stopping this drive again for Oklahoma to keep it a 7-3 game. You just had to be so happy with the way your defense fought. Yeah, defense played great. I mean, we talked about kind of slowing the pace of the, of the game in the first half and, and trying to be in the game at halftime or be ahead at halftime. And uh, if we would have finished a couple drives, I think we would have gone into halftime with the lead um, and could just could never quite get there in the second half. Trying to make it a move here late in the first half of the, this drive will end with a sack. So you had 7-3. A halftime score with Oklahoma in front by just four points. Probably surprising a lot of people the way uh, this first half went. But the Oscars right in there against the third-ranked team in the country. Rattler here uh, gets knocked down. And uh, good play. Just good pursuit. JoJo played one of his better games, I think, of the season before he had full tackles. Yeah, JoJo had a, had a big game for us, and uh, we're going to get a play from him all year. 7-3 at the half. When we come back, we'll check out the action from the second half of the Oscars battle against the Sooners. That's coming up next. We are back on the Bank West Husker football show. 7-3 Oklahoma with the lead at the half. Get the ball to start the second half, and I'm sure they can let's go down and take the lead in this game. That was the plan. And I think uh, if we'd have been able to finish this drive, uh, we'd have set ourselves up in a really good position in the game. Um, had our opportunities here. Great scramble and throw by Adrian and great catch by Austin. And um, again, we got to finish these drives. Game runs here. This is a first down play. You get this, you know, like second and two, and you don't, don't end, end up getting the first down on that. Bro. That was disappointing. Yep. yep. And then this. Yep. And, um, you know, it, all else uh, being the same, you know, we left uh, about nine points on the field in the kicking game and, and lost by seven. And uh, other, certainly other things we need to address, but uh, definitely got to get that fixed. 
Here's a little double, double pass from Oklahoma. Their longest pass play of the game was 23 yards. You did a great job defensively, keeping everything kind of in front of you. Uh, th this is a drive for them that ends up with a, with a touchdown as they go up 14 to three as they put together a fairly lengthy drive. Again, a sign of your defense, making them work hard for every yard to get points on the board. That play hurt us. It was second and 27. Uh, Would have had a chance to stop them. And they had two straight passes uh, to get a first down. And uh, we were a little bit undisciplined on the, on the goal line. And, uh, bought the run fake a little too much and gave him the easy touchdown. Nice swing pass here to Ramir. 15 gets pushed back on another questionable call on a Cam Jurgen blocking downfield, but what a beautiful throw and catch this was here. Yep, um, we had a, a couple things set up for him to come on the backside of a bootleg, and, and that was one of them. And those are the type of plays we need when we get in the scoring zone to, to put us in position or to get us in the end zone. And then here, a blocked point after try that they bring back for two. Just a big momentum swing. You have just scored, you're going about ready to pull it in four and said they go up by seven. Yeah, on top of the points, it's just the momentum. And uh, we got kind of blown up on the front line at one spot in protection and um, can't happen. So Oklahoma now kind of sends it, it gets going. They put together a 12 play, 65 yard drive early in the fourth quarter. A couple of missed tackles on this drive. I don't know if it was fatigue or, or what, but again, this is a, such a high power offense. Good, good play here by Braxton Clark, but knocking the ball away. Yeah, good play by Brax. I, I agree. I, I think, uh, you know, we tried to keep our defense off the field as much as we could, but um, I, think, I think guys got a little bit tired on this drive. Um, would have been great to get a stop here, down seven, and a chance to tie the game. Uh, as well as the defense played, we need him to step up in a couple of those situations. How about this throw and catch? Yeah, this is special, and, and we need to do a little more of this. Uh, having Xavier and, and Omar and some guys like that out there uh, give us an opportunity to, to do some of those things more. we got to take advantage of it. A sack, one of a five on the day for the Sooners. Here's a fourth down play. Adrian you know what he just throws at the end zone and an unbelievable interception by Oklahoma, which actually kind of helped you out because you were able to get a three and out here. Yeah, that's one, one of the best catches I've ever seen. and. Um, yeah, you know, Adrian did the right thing, just trying to make a play on fourth down. Didn't want to kick the field goal there, down 14. Um, ended up helping us. We got great field position, and uh, we were able to punch one in. Find Austin Allen here, and then Omar Manning gets his first touchdown grab as a Husker. This is a pretty play. Really good route by him, setting it up, leaning him outside. Heck of a throw by Adrian. Really good protection on the play, and um, great to see from Omar. So now you're within a touchdown, getting late in the game. You need a stop. You get a stop, but you didn't get maybe as soon as you wanted to on the track because they get it out to midfield. Yeah, really uh, the first set of downs, uh, you know, they, they made a mistake on kick return and had the ball on the eight and false started, and we had first and 14. And uh, if we'd have been able to get off the field right there, we'd have had plenty of time to, to run whatever we needed to to make the drive. And um, tough ass to go 82 yards in a minute. Um, didn't start off well with a sack on first down. So the Huskers upset bid comes up one touchdown short of 23-16 Oklahoma victory in Norman, the renewal of the OU Nebraska rivalry. We're back with more here on the Bank of the West Husker Football Show. Thanks. Bank of the West is offering the first account designed for climate action. It gives back 1% of the account's net revenue to the planet at no cost to you. Shows you the carbon impact of every debit card purchase right in the app. There's no monthly service charge with any deposit or statement, and there's no minimum balance required. For the one percent for the Planet account, only from Bank of the West. Shop with confidence at Woodhouse and experience the difference. Start and end your car buying journey online with our streamlined sales process. Our knowledgeable sales teams will guide you to the perfect vehicle that exceeds your expectations. Visit one of our 16 locations for a test drive today or online anytime at Woodhouse.com. Streamlining your car body experience. This is Woodhouse. Physical therapy is usually the thing you're told to do after medication, x-rays, or even surgery. But what if the best way to fix your aches and pains is to start where you normally finish? At Athletico, our therapists, the same ones who work with world-class athletes and professional dancers, can transform your pain before it progresses to something worse. Because the sooner you start with physical therapy, the sooner you can start changing everything. And it all starts here with no prescription needed at Athletico. Schedule your free assessment today. In America, the future belongs to everyone, so we built a truck of the future for everyone. 
Ford F-150, with available Pro Power on board that acts like a mobile generator, and an available tailgate work service, is built to get the job done. Because the truck of the future isn't built for a few, it's built for America. Ford F-150, drive one today. Right now, get a Ford F-150 with 0% financing for 72 months. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Husker football show. The Black Shirts have played so well through the first four weeks of the season, and the anchor of that unit is the nose guard, Damian Daniels. Jessica Cootie takes a closer look. Every day I try to try to be better than I was yesterday. A lot of people talk about like last year's games and everything, how well I did. But like me, I try to kind of tone all that out because the past don't matter. It's about what you do in the future. And I just take it on head straight, so. Let's talk about you and your growth, specifically the leadership role. Can you take me back to that moment when it was announced that you would be a captain of this football team? Kind of a crazy, surreal feeling, a little bit. Uh, you know, we just got done taking our, our uh, team team pictures and everything, and Puff Frost brought the team up, cut to the chase, and was like, hey, uh, we got the 2021 team captain. And he said, Damian Daniels. And when he said my name, it was like, I, I didn't know what to feel. Man, I was kind of starstruck a little bit. So I kind of just paused, and then right after that, everybody kind of showed me love. Like, hey, you well deserved, you earned it, so keep it up. We know how much being a captain means here at Nebraska, and the fact that you and your brother both have been in that role, how special is it to get to share that with him? When he called me and I, when I told him, I'm like, hey man, I did it. And he was like, hey, I always knew you could do it. He said, you probably believe in yourself. Now that now it's your turn, he said, now wear it with pride. Don't change the nothing I'm doing, and just stay on it. The defensive coaches have, have talked about the stamina in the past and, and how it needed to improve. But for you personally, was there a specific moment or, or a time when you thought, okay, this has got to change, this has got to improve, I've got to be able to stay on the field for this team? One thing I like about my coach, they always kept it real with me. And uh, stuff that I couldn't see, they always saw it and they always run it to my attention. Like when you turn on play three and four, you look like you're tired, like you run out of gas. So what I had did in the offseason, 30 minutes on the bike, doing 20 minutes on the Stairmaster, trying to get my, my stamina up a little bit. As you can see, it paid off. And now I actually have the opportunity to be in on third downs. The defensive coaches have talked a lot about you kind of earning that leadership role has gone into the work that you've done personally. What was that process like? I mean, what kind of your mindset was when you started to attack the offseason leading into this season? Yeah, every time I lined up, uh, it's all mentality. Every time I line up, the person in front of me, they don't know, like, you in for a long one. And they it's going to stay like that, and I'm going to always keep my foot on their neck. So they they didn't, they didn't can't block me one-on-one, -on -one, and they're going to have to put two dudes on me. And if not four hands, there's going to be six. So I'll take part of that. at Woodhouse and experience the difference. Start and end your car buying journey online with our streamlined sales process. Our knowledgeable sales teams will guide you to the perfect vehicle that exceeds your expectations. 
Visit one of our 16 locations for a test drive today or online anytime at Woodhouse.com. Streamlining your car buying experience. This is Woodhouse. Bank of the West is offering the first account designed for climate action. It gives back 1% of the account's net revenue to the planet at no cost to you. Shows you the carbon impact of every debit card purchase right in the app. There's no monthly service charge with any deposit or statement, and there's no minimum balance required. The 1% for the planet account, only from Bank of the West.
Back, back to, to conference, conference action. Michigan State playing really well. You'll have your hands full this week. They're hot. We're on the road. Um, so it's going to be a great environment up there. So um, we need to get ready. But uh, I just want our team to play uh, to the level that they played at uh, against Oklahoma, and we'll have a chance in a lot of games. First night game of the year. We're back next week to check that out. My thanks to the entire Husker Vision crew and you for watching. We invite you to join us again here next week for an inside look at Husker football.